All right, here we are with the second video of One Spitten versus Malorian, uh, Orcs versus Bretonians, and we're on Bretonians turn two. So his girl knights had charged my uh, wolves, and now they're off in the corner there as I fled and got caught. Same thing as knights errant charged my uh, shaman chariot. I got caught, and he ended up there in front of my block. His uh, knights of the realm with BSB charged my second block. His lord, this surprised me. I kind of thought that, because his lord is set up to be kind of a, a character kind of uh, killer in a way. He doesn't have killing blow, but he's set up with uh, being able to hit on twos for one game and uh, a virtue that every time he hits and wounds, he gets an extra attack. But he didn't go for my general. Instead, he went for my uh, chariot, and his small units of uh, knights errant went after my troll. Uh, his men at arms went after my right wolf riders and they got away and then uh, there was something unfortunate his uh, pegasus knights went to go and charge the uh, spear chucker that was just on the right side of the hill there and they were just out and just out meaning you know uh, an inch an inch and a half now they had flown over to the, the woods there as one spit and wanted me to do but this is something where I was kind of not knowing if I didn't move them correctly because of course uh, I moved them the full 20 to get over there so they could have gotten a little bit closer to the hill and so I don't know if he would have uh, done it himself whether they would have been in range maybe they would have been farther away I don't know but it's one of those things where I wonder whether I screwed them over by where I had the placement but anyway that's where they're at Alright, in the shooting phase, he went for that right chariot again, and it uh, scattered off, killed a, a couple more night goblins. And then in combat, uh, he kills a few orcs with his knights of the realm, I hold, which I'm very hap happy for. Uh, he kills off my troll, and his lord, it doesn't show it here, but he uh, did three wounds to my chariot, my chariot ran away. Uh, he let it run away, and it just smashed into those rocks there, and was gone. Okay, orcs turn three now. Um, what happened is I was kind of worried that my uh, war boss would have to charge his lord, but what happened is that with animosity, he, that unit rolled a six, so with the chariot there had the, to wheel to kind of face him and then move forward. Uh, he had the option of either holding or fleeing, he fled, and uh, that put me in a position where I could charge into the flank of the knights of the realm. Uh, my orcs on the left there charged into his big unit of knights errant. Uh, my chariot went and rushed forward and hit into his uh, small unit of knights errant and I wanted my savage orcs to go up and try and charge his uh, uh, men at arms but unfortunately they roll a one so they're stuck and it had to be with the other orcs that uh, had went up and charged and then uh, the men at arms just fled and got away. In the shooting phase, I start with some bad luck, and my Doom Diver explodes, but then the bad luck is returned to my opponent, and I kill off one of his uh, Pegasus Knights, and they fail their panic, and they go flying off, so that really saved my uh, my gun heal here. And where those Pegasus Knights ended up was just in uh, the woods over here. I have this separate picture because uh, they weren't actually uh, there when I took the, the bigger shot. Alright, and in combat, uh, with the Night Goblins hitting the flank of those uh, Knights of the Realm, they're broken. I even catch them with that one block of regular orcs, and they hit into the, the flank of these Knights Errant, and because of that, they were, they were doomed as well. Uh, they break and run back, and uh, but I don't catch them. And so here's the, the overview shot. Uh, the Chariot went and killed a couple Knights Errant and, and held there. But uh, things are, are not looking overly good for him. I mean, his one big unit is fleeing, his lord is fleeing, his men at arms are fleeing, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's not looking pretty good for him at this point. But then we're at uh, Bretonian turn three, and he makes a comeback. Uh, the, the big unit of knights errant and the men at arms, they don't rally and they go further back, but his uh, lord rallies, and uh, the one group the small group of, of knights errant that had once been on the hill, they charge over into the, the flank of the orcs that had the, the two banners for taking out his knights of the realm and BSB and they just, even though there's only five horses, I thought I could take them I, they just pretty much killed a, an orc each and then broke and ran them down uh, I passed my panics with those two blocks around them but all of a sudden that just kind of punched a hole right into me and then now uh, he has that block that's behind me uh, as well he has his 
Grail Knights that kind of uh, turn around to face me, and uh, he has his archers which are moving up to kind of shoot me up. Okay, and now we're on Orc turn four. So what happened here with this picture is uh, to try and catch that Lord, I charged out of the unit with both the BSB and uh, the war boss, thinking that I'd be able to uh, to catch him, but note that uh, Lord went really quickly and uh, was able to get away. Uh, meanwhile, that one uh, block in the center and joined in with the combat where the chariot was, and uh, that broke that unit. I caught them, and uh, with some really high rolling for the chariot, I even hit into that big unit of uh, knights errant that were fleeing at the time and forced them off the board. So, oh, that was <laughs> uh, kind of a, a nasty blow. And uh, otherwise, I have my wolves that mo moved over to try and block that unit of his that's uh, behind me. The spear chukka that was in range to be charged by the, the grail knights uh, kind of stayed there and uh, the, the savage orcs turned around to uh, kind of face those pegasus knights while the, the orcs on the far right are going around the, the flank. And uh, yeah, spear chukkas didn't do any damage this turn. Alright, Bretonian's turn 4. I dodge a real bullet here. His uh, trebuchet uh, aims and gets a direct hit, uh, well guess anyway, right on my war boss's head and then luckily scatters off 10 inches to be nowhere so that could have been uh, a real big loss for me but luckily uh, luck sa saved the day. Otherwise his lord rallies, his men at arms rally, um, his, his archers are kinda trying to move more out of the way. He also really surprised me by uh, well his his knights charged uh, my wolves which I kinda saw and he caught me and killed me but whereas I thought I had his pegasus knights trapped they could actually see uh, that spear checker there so they charged out and, and killed that one and then he also just moved up his uh, grail knights a little bit again just to try and make sure to be in, in charge range so orcs turn five. Uh, the one block that had gone all the way around the woods charged the archers. They fled and got away. Um, otherwise, I'm just kind of you know, my uh, BSB charged up at a trebuchet to try and take that out, but uh, I just killed two and it held. Uh, in the back there, what I did is I turned around that one block to face the Grail Knights and then moved uh, the war boss into it and. Uh, then the night goblins are making sure that they get those uh, fleeing archers. The other block and chair at the bottom of the screen are, are facing his damsel and men at arms to make sure I can take them out. And at the top right, the savage orcs reform to face his knights and Pegasus knights. And that's a little bit off. Uh, I My opponent called me on this one. They should be a little bit further back, but it didn't really seem to, to matter in the end. Uh, anyway, what's the main thing I want to talk about is what I'm doing here on the left with that one uh, block with my war boss. So I've been always been trying to stall with these Grail Knights and wondering how to take them out and at the same time I've been trying to take out his Lord and but every time I charge him he gets away. So I figured this is the best time to take care of both. Uh, if I take the charge from the Grail Knights I'll, I'll have them obviously in combat and then right here I'm showing, showing my rear to his Lord. Now once he's in combat with me I can issue a challenge I can uh, do some damage to him with my uh, war boss and uh, well if he doesn't take it I'll just beat up his uh, grail knights and even though the grail knights should be doing a lot of damage to me that's going to be mitigated by the damage that my war boss is doing to his lord so I'm kind of drawing him in here to beat both units and uh, we'll have to wait to the next video to see if that works